fitness burger in my mouth. <laughs> hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. Um, I haven't usually spoken about health and fitness on my channel ever before, um, but basically I kind of wanted to start this 12 week challenge, um, but like I've kind of done it before and failed. So basically I decided to film at this time um, to hold myself accountable so that I will actually finish it this time because I'm showing you guys my progress um, and the end result. So obviously I want to work, I want it to work. So yeah, I just thought if I film this, I will actually complete it this time. Cause I've been trying since I was like 18 to actually complete this. Um, yeah, so I figured let's film my journey. Um, and then maybe I'll actually stick to it this time. Um, and my body will actually change. Um, first of all, I do want to say, no, I do not think I'm fat. <laughs> I am not doing this 12 week journey so that I can lose weight for the pure reason that I think I'm fat. I don't actually think I'm fat. I think I'm fine the way that I am. Um, I have a decent body. I'm not going to say like it's great. It's not the perfect body in the world and it's not, you know, gross either. So I just think it's fine. Like when I look in the mirror, some of the time I'm like, oh, like I could lose a little bit here and there because it's a bit flabby or whatever, but most of the time I look in the mirror and, and I'm fine with myself. So I do want to just clear that up for you guys who are probably going to be like, oh, she thinks she's fat. Nah. No, I don't. I don't think I'm fat. I just want to tone some stuff. Um, so basically I'm just going to start out this video by telling you what I'm actually doing um, for the next 12 weeks. So first of all, for the next 12 weeks, I am obviously going to be eating healthier. So I have decided to use the same pro, uh, app that I've used before in the past to track my calories, which is the MyFitnessPal. It's kind of where you just sort of track what food you're eating, um, just to make sure you're sort of sitting at a calorie goal. Now the goal that the, I've had on this app is 1200 calories, but I'm not going to be eating 1200 calories. I'm going to be eating more than that. That is just my leg sort of rough idea. So if I'm putting in stuff into this app and it's going up to like 1800 calories, no way I can't eat that. But I'm not really caring if it's going to 1300, 1400. It's sort of just a guideline to just keep me low, not have me getting a little bit too high. Cause I eat a lot. Like that's my main problem. I eat a lot. So it's kind of just to help me stay within that sort of range. Um, it's just best for me like that. Um, basically I had already filmed this video as well, um, but I looked really, really sick in that video. Like I was sick and it was not the perfect time to actually be filming the video, but I filmed it anyway and decided that I didn't want to <laughs> use it because I looked horrible. So I am filming this video, um, a week later. So technically I've already been doing this for a week. Um, it's not... Um, the first day here, but that's okay. I'm just trying to remember what I said in the first video. Um, second of all, um, I am transitioning, I have transitioned, I should say, into vegetarian. So all of my meals from the start of this challenge onwards are vegetarian because I'm going to be doing um, checkups every fortnight to just sort of show you um, my progress so far. So like how much weight I've lost so far, um, what sort of things I'm eating and I'm going to move on to what I'm actually doing for the fitness portion of this so basically if I Exercise every day I sort of get into the routine and I keep doing it if I have a day off of exercising that I kind of just Shrug it off and I don't continue doing it. So basically for this I decided I'm just gonna do a 30 minute walk every day like every day um, not miss it at all for any reason. If I'm sick, anything, I'm not missing that 30 minute walk. It's not that hard to get up and go for a 30 minute walk. Um, so I think I've done that so far for the last week and a half. Um, and I haven't had a break. So I think, 
yeah I don't know it's just me if I take a break for one day I won't get back into it and I will stop so I've just decided that that is the minimum amount of exercise that I have to do every day um, to just keep me on track second of all I'm also going to be doing well I also have been doing um, I got this program a while ago it's just like a ebook that I got online I did get it off of somebody else but it can be purchased um, it is I just don't want to butcher her name but Kayla it's a Ness I think you call her she's from Adelaide too um, she has the bikini body guide uh, where is it bikini body guide which is just like a guide full of workouts it tells you like a whole heap of stuff about um, healthy eating and exercise and everything else as well but basically I'll just show you a little snippet of what it looks like so basically this is what the app looks like um, it just gives you um, two different sides of workouts you basically just go through this side from top to bottom and keep going through it for seven minutes after the seven minutes you'll stop for maybe like a minute break and then move on to the other side do the same thing and then you'll go back to this side and then back to that side so it works out being four lots of seven minutes which is about 28 minutes of exercise um, and basically it's it's a bit more intense like it's something you can do at home you don't need equipment to do it um, you can do it at home with pretty much anything there's only a couple of things that I've noticed so far that I've needed like a skipping rope um, something to step up on you could do that on a chair honestly I've got a stepper but you can do it on a chair um, maybe like a few weights you could probably just like get some cans out of the cupboard um, and do those if you wanted to you don't have to actually go out and buy them um, but yeah so I basically I'm going to be doing that one I've had this since I was like 18 or 19 and every single time I've tried to do this this is the whole 12 week challenge like it's 12 weeks three times a week you do um, this exercise it's not the same every time it's different every single time um, you do it for 12 weeks um, and you're supposed to be like bikini body ready so basically I've never been able to get through this I've gotten it maybe five weeks in um, and I used to cheat and be like oh I'll just do one lot like one run through of each side and then that's it like I would literally would just cheat and not do it properly so basically I decided I have to do it properly this time and I'm filming it my progress to hold myself accountable so basically that is everything I'm doing um, I'll probably put a link to everything down below um, that I am using just so you guys can go have a look if you want um, but anyway the rest of this video is going to be sort of vlog style I'm gonna sort of run you through um, every two weeks what I'm weighing um, how my progress is going I'll go through a meal that I might be eating that day um, it could be breakfast lunch dinner or anything like that um, and yeah, basically that's what the rest of this video is going to be. Just little snippets of different days um, through my progress. Um, and I'll come back at the end of the 12 weeks and we will see what the final result is, how I'm feeling, how much weight I've lost, um, how much size I've lost, everything like that. So yeah, I will see you guys at my next check-in, which will technically be in a couple of days from now. <laughs> Um, because I'm about a week and a half into this so yeah it'll be in a few days so I'll see you then hey guys so today is sort of like a catch-up video it's been almost two weeks since I started this whole thing I did just go weigh myself as well I did weigh myself with my clothes on um, and I've lost almost three kilos already so that's two weeks of this exercise and eating like this um, and I've lost almost three kilos. I know that that's not, not going to stay like that all the time. It's going to slow down a little bit as well. And I'm going to end up being in like a plateau. But that's still a good start. So we'll see how we go. So today is Monday the 10th of February 2020. I have currently been doing this 12 week challenge for four weeks. Now I remember saying at the start of this video that I was going to be doing two weeks check-ins. Like every two weeks I would do a check-in. So I've already done the two-week check-in before, now I'm up to the four-week check-in. Um, so I think in the last video I'd lost three kilos, I think it was, in the two weeks. Um, so let's just update you guys. So I've actually measured myself as well now. Um, so today, being four weeks, I have dropped five kilos. And I've also lost 27.5 centimetres overall. So it's like five and a half around my stomach, no, five and a half from my waist. I think it was six and a half from my stomach. 
and four and a half from my hips were the major ones the rest were like one or two centimeters each but that's where my major ones have come from so just thought I'd update you guys on how my body is going um, after just four weeks so I'm pretty happy with that so far now I do also want to mention as well that I have decided to start doing another form of exercise as well because I was doing a 30 minute walk every day and then on every day that I was off or every day that I started later at work I was doing the BBG um, the bikini body guide from Kaylitz Ness so I've decided I'm going to start doing the couch to 5k which is an app that you can get it's just called C25k basically it gets you running 5k after eight weeks I've done it before I've completed it before so I'm basically just adding it now for the next eight weeks because I just feel like I need to up ante like I need to do a little bit more so yeah I'm basically going to do that on the days that I'm not doing the bikini body challenge and on the one day a week that I'm not doing either I will just do my normal walk um, and just sort of have like a casual day if that makes sense you feel me anyway hey guys so we've just skipped forward nine months I know I get I left you guys at like four week check-in or something like that um, but life got a little bit crazy after that so I kind of just didn't film anything um, but I did finish the challenge well I almost finished the challenge I got to week 10 out of the 12 so I almost finished the challenge um, I guess I'm just gonna go through like I guess what I did again um, what changed um, since then um, and how I'm going now I guess because it's been nine months since I filmed last and like at the start of this video I was telling you like what I was doing and it's completely changed since then so um, yeah I guess we'll just keep going with that so I continued to do that BBG challenge um, until week 10 um, I think it was like a week or two after maybe two weeks after the last check-in that I met my now boyfriend and I kind of just didn't film after that I don't know I kind of just got distracted with like life and everything else that was going on um, with everything else in the world as well um, so I kind of just like was paying attention to like what was happening and what we we're gonna have to do to like stay safe and all of that so I kind of wasn't really thinking about filming anything um, even though that was probably the perfect time for me to actually be filming things I was kind of just spending time with him um, because we had the time to do it rather than spending time sitting in front of a camera like I kind of just enjoyed my time off rather than using it for YouTube if that makes sense anyway so I kept doing that for a little bit I was still vegetarian for a little bit um, and then there was like we went out for dinner with his mates um, and my best friend and it was kind of just like one of those places where like if you don't get a meat option like what are you even doing there you know what I mean and I was like I'm not gonna be that person that like can't go to a place like this um, or like make it so other people can't go to a place like this you know what I mean so I was just like you know what it doesn't even matter I don't even care about being vegetarian anymore um because I had, had missed it anyway so I basically stopped being vegetarian about 10 weeks in um at this point I had access to gym equipment anyway so for the whole time that I had off work um for everything that's going on um I basically just had access to gym equipment and I started doing a completely different thing. Um, so I started actually going to, well not really going to the gym, but started actually using gym equipment um, and getting used to all of that so that when we were able to go back to a gym, um, I felt comfortable going back to a gym. So basically my whole journey changed. I didn't do BBG anymore. I just did um, weightlifting at the gym. So like, you know, a good old leg day and whatever else um but yeah that's basically what i changed to uh, i'm still doing my 30 minute walks every day um i'd still get up and go for that i don't run anymore i literally just go to the gym five days a week usually when i'm going to work um it's a little different now because i've changed 
um, jobs again. So I'm a little bit closer to a gym every day when I'm not working. So I kind of mix it up now and go some days when I'm not working, some days when I am. Um, it just kind of makes it easier for me. At the moment, I've got a couple of days off, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity. I'm at home by myself um, to film some stuff for you guys. So that's basically what I'm doing. My food intake, I stayed on the 1200 calories for a while. Um, then I guess once I had the, that night out with our friends, I kind of just went a little crazy because um, my boyfriend was like eating a lot at the time, <laughs> like a lot. And I was kind of just sitting there like, I just want to eat all of this with him. So I kind of just did um, at the start because I was doing the workouts like with the gym equipment. It was, I guess, all right for me because my metabolism had kind of caught up with itself. Um, so I didn't really notice any change. I didn't really put on that much weight. Um, I think it was maybe like a kilo I put on a weight. Um, but yeah, nothing really dramatic. It was actually not so bad. Um, so I've kind of since then just been on and off dieting, kind of enjoying life a little bit. Um, but yeah, then like obviously once I've been noticing a couple of kilos going on, I've kind of just been dieting that off um, and studying again sort of thing because you know, like I want to enjoy food, um, I want to enjoy my life, but you know, dieting for a couple of weeks here and there to like keep yourself, you know, lower in weight is not that bad. I don't, I don't mind dieting, like my diet that I eat every day is pretty good. I actually enjoy it a lot. So um, yeah, I pretty much eat the same thing every day, by the way, but that's because I really like it. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, I should probably update you on the 10 week progress. Um, so obviously before I started this journey, I had lost about five kilos or something like that. Um, cause at my heaviest, whew, that was like 18 kilos ago. So I've definitely lost like a lot. Um, so basically I'd already lost five kilos at the start of this year anyway. Um, and then I started this journey, um, I think I was like planning on losing 15 and I think I lost all of that. I didn't lose it all in the 12, in the 12 weeks. I lost 13 kilos in the 10 weeks that I did do. Um, and then after that, with doing all of the gym workouts or gym equipment workouts, um, and eating better as well during that time, I ended up losing the other two. So I did get down to my goal weight. I just didn't, complete the 12 week challenge. But once again, that's linked down below if you guys ever wanna like have a look at it because that was really good for me to start um, getting into fitness and stuff um, because like you do it at home, you don't really need equipment. Um, it's 28 minutes a day for three days a week. Like it's nothing crazy. So definitely worth checking out if you guys are starting a fitness journey. Um, I think it's really good, like a good, really good stepping stone. Um, but now when I look back, like it was a good program, but now I don't really need that cause I just go to the gym now. Um, and I just do my gym workouts and build my strength up. Um, that was one of the things that I found as well being vegetarian was that I was very, very weak after being vegetarian. Um, I kind of had like no strength at all. So when I first started using gym equipment, I was so weak. Um, but I found that within like, I think it was like within four weeks. I ended up like tripling my leg strength. So that was good. Um, my upper body still like a bit slower at, you know, gaining that, but I think I've doubled, I've doubled it, you know, since the start of the year. So that's good. I could barely even push up the lightest weight on a shoulder press. And now I can do like the next weight up, you know what I mean? So I've definitely doubled, maybe tripled my strength upper body, which is good. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend starting out, check out the BBG. Um, but then like, obviously try and get into a gym because going to the gym's like way better. In my opinion, not everyone would think that, but in my opinion, it just works best for me. I enjoy it now. I could like five years ago, I would have been like, no way. I'm not going to the gym. Like F that. But now I'm like, no, I really need to go. <laughs> like sometimes I'll be laying there in the morning and I'm like, I need to go to the gym because I actually want to. <laughs> still using my fitness pal, um, still tracking everything. I've kind of gone between 
1200 and 1500 calories over the last nine months um, obviously in there as well I've had a few weeks where I've kind of just eaten 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 yeah you know how it is um, especially like birthday week I literally ate everything in the house for like a week <laughs> and I made a big ass cake I'll insert a picture somewhere if you guys are interested <laughs> um, but yeah I made a big ass cake ate all of that ate all the food yeah I ate a lot so I mean sometimes I can go through and have like a 5,000 calorie day for like every day for a week um, I'll put on like a kilo or two maybe um, but then that's why I say I just died it back off you know what I mean because I'm just enjoying that week um, you know I'm not exactly fussed again I think I said at the start of this video I'm not really fussed um, like about like the losing weight thing because I felt like I wasn't fat before like I'm definitely not fat now I've lost like two dress sizes um, sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like I don't even look any different but like when you put your clothes on you can tell like I'm literally not a size 10 to 12 anymore I'm two sizes smaller again so I'm a size 6 to 8 um, which is just hard to imagine like I never used to even be able to fit into like a size 10 jeans like boyfriend jeans before and now I'm fitting into a size 8 boyfriend jeans and boyfriend jeans are like tight like there's no stretch in those at all so um, yeah it just makes you feel good like trying on clothes that you were never able to wear before and actually being able to fit into them so I think that's just like the thing that I like the most about doing this um, and like obviously my shape is a little bit better than it used to be um, you can probably tell my arms are a little bit more like muscly which is good um, <clears throat> but yeah my face is a lot thinner I think you guys would be able to tell from the start of this video to like now my face <laughs> is a lot thinner than it used to be um, what else do I need to mention in this video I don't even know honestly I don't know either way I just thought that I would come on here and finish this video anyway even though this is not like a full proper check-in video where I haven't like completed this whole challenge and done the every two weeks check-ins like I said I was going to do at the start of this video um, I thought you know with everything on in the world like I still want to post this video I still want to give people motivation for you know starting their journey as well um, and I guess if you guys have any questions uh, about any of the stuff that's in this video um, feel free to comment down below as well I will answer those um, as soon as I get a chance um, but yeah I guess that's it um, I look forward to filming some more lifestyle fitness sort of related videos as well on here now because obviously from this year I've become more into you know fitness and health and all of that sort of stuff so I'm probably gonna see a lot more of that from me rather than like makeup and all of that because honestly I've barely put makeup on this year as you can see I'm not even wearing it now like I'm, I'm literally about to go to the gym by the way um, but yeah like I'm not really into the whole filming makeup tutorials anymore I'll probably sometimes still do it like if I want to film like a every day or like maybe I'll film something for those girls who want to wear makeup to the gym I don't know some girls uh, don't really like going out in public without wearing makeup and you know I respect that as well so I'd be happy to maybe film a video for that but it's probably more likely going to be like lifestyle food fitness sort of videos for me from now on because I mean I've kind of just grown out of that makeup section um and then obviously with everything else going on in my life which i will film like a video about that eventually um like it's been a rough two years so i haven't really filmed in two years and that is because it's been a rough two years so when i started this video i was kind of like yeah i'll just i'll try and film something um like i said this didn't really work out so um <clears throat> Now I'm at the point in my life where I can actually start filming again because I'm actually in a good place. So yeah, that's what we are doing. Once again, if you have any questions about anything in this video, please make sure that you comment them down below. You can look at me on Instagram as well. I'll put like my Instagram handle just here. It'll also be linked down below as well. Um, you can always go and ask me some questions there as well. Um, but make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh wait, I used to do this. <laughs> We're not doing that anymore. Bye.